Good evening. Or good morning. Good noon. Or good midnight. Whenever and wherever you're watching this. Welcome to the Sunday poem. Today it's a poem by Alfred Lord Tennyson, an English poet of the 19th century. While some of his critics described him as overly sentimental, his poetry was nevertheless quite popular and brought Tennyson to the attention of well-known writers such as Samuel Taylor Coleridge, and Tennyson eventually even became the Poet Laureate, so basically the official court poet who was expected to write verses for significant national occasions, and he held this position during much of Queen Victoria's reign. Tennyson also attempted drama, but his plays never really gained any momentum and enjoyed only very, very little success. Tennyson's poetry was quite visual and it is said to have had a major influence on the pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood, a group of English painters, poets and art critics. Alfred Lord Tennyson is also the ninth most frequently quoted writer in the Oxford Dictionary of quotations, and a number of phrases from Tennyson's work have become commonplace in the English language, including nature read in tooth and claw, or there's not to reason why, there's but to do and die, or my strength is as the strength of ten, because my heart is pure, or to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield, or knowledge comes, but wisdom lingers, or the old order changes, yielding place to new, or probably the most well-known, tis better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Yes, it's a bit sentimental, isn't it? Today's poem is definitely a very visual poem. Here is The Brook by Alfred Lord Tennyson. I come from haunts of coot and hern. I make a sudden sally and sparkle out among the fern to bicker down a valley. By thirty hills I hurry down, or slip between the ridges, by twenty thopes a little town, and half a hundred bridges, till last by Philip's farm I flow to join the brimming river, for man may come, and man may go, but I, Go on forever. I chatter over stony ways, In little sharps and trebles, I bubble into eddying bays, I babble on the pebbles, With many a curve my banks I fret, By many a field and fallow, And many a fairy fallen set, With willow weed and mallow. I chatter, chatter as I flow To join the brimming river, for men may come, and men may go, but I go on forever. I wind about, and in and out, with here a blossom sailing, and here and there a lusty trout, and here and there a grayling, and here and there a foamy flake upon me as I travel, with many a silver water break above the golden gravel and draw them all along and flow to join the brimming river. For man may come, and man may go, but I go on forever. 
I steal by lawns and grassy plots, I slide by hazel covers, I move the sweet forget-me-nots that grow for happy lovers, I slip, I slide, I glue my glance among my skimming swallows, I make the netted sunbeam dance against my sandy shallows, I murmur, under moon and stars, in brambly wildernesses, I linger by my shingly bars, I loiter round my cresses. And out again, I curve and flow to join the brimming river, for men may come, and man may go, but I go on forever. Mm-hmm.